Welcome to the Grain of Salt Podcast. My name is Hank. With me is Ben. No follow-up? You got answers. <laughs> I was literal, literal shower thought today. I was like, you know, when I want answers, they tease me. And when I want a fucking battle royale, they give me answers. Son uh-huh. of a bitch. I was <laughs> never satisfied. I was I'm never satisfied. Dude, I've I've been this I haven't been this 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 tournament bald since Dragon Ball Z. I was so <laughs> ready. I was so ready. And then they took it from me. <laughs> I thought because it was a battle royale and I was like so hyped. I thought we were gonna get more of like the first episode. Like just Ariel rinsing people. Mm-hmm. Instead, See now you want the first episode. I want it to be See? like more, See? I want See? it to be more never said I want the whole never. episode to be that episode. Nope, never. Never. Uh, it's never enough. Look, man. The f- there was a lot of it wasn't like there was not fighting. There was a lot of fighting. Yeah, but it was intermingled with stuff. They weren't focusing on the fight. They were putting emotions into it. They were doing stuff. <laughs> they were telling a story. They were telling a story. <laughs> um, I've been spoiled just enough on Evangelion to uh, to feel like this Evangelion is... Genesis Evangelion, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, to feel like this is influenced by it, yeah. Yes. This seems real. This is this is <laughs> like the show going gave the us. one the one thing that I was spoiled on, and it's like super relevant. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. Um, not not the first show to be influenced by Ava. Yeah, but the first one that I recognized a thing, like sp- yeah. a, spe- a fairly specific thing. I I think. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Man, like, kind of no one asked for it though. I don't know. I think the I think the world of Gundam has made me cynical because uh, what's her name was like a child, like a monster. Oh, another human being. Like she's ready to throw up, and I'm like, isn't that bad though? <laughs> and, you know, like it's, uh, Gundam associated people have done worse shit. It's pretty bad that she put her daughter into a robot. We don't know the <laughs> circumstances. We don't know the circumstances, but. I seems pretty bad. It seems bad, but like, what if she was terminally ill or something? I doubt it, based on the tone <laughs> that they're setting up. <laughs> but uh-huh. like, maybe, yeah. you know, there's hope. Yeah, but it is. I mean, like, it is. We've the big thing we learned is the little girl in that first episode was not Suleta with who got getting renamed. It was Suleta's sister, who's now in the mech, is now in Ariel. And is like the reason Ariel is can act on its own and why she can talk to it and stuff. Mm. Yeah. So, so we... Saleta isn't the one who killed people as a baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Her sister was the real the real OG. Yeah. Huh? The and the what and the one like piloting the gun bits basically. Yeah. Which makes sense. Just like, yeah, no, it's like, oh, yes, this is, this was clearly what this was. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. No, like there it was, was like, a, it was a very like, oh, okay. Kind of reveal for me. So yeah, no, like I, I heard it and I was like, you know, I was fine just letting it be like rule of cool stuff. I didn't need an explanation, <laughs> but like, that makes sense. That's a lot. That's very logical with what you've set up. Yeah. Someone it's very funny that it's Gundam doing Avis stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was nothing can nothing cannot become Ava. It's just not possible. Mushi she didn't really become Ava. <laughs> they stayed pretty far away, I think. <laughs> or not. I don't fucking uh, know. I don't, I haven't seen enough of it. Yeah, yeah, there's probably an episode that's like, nope, just straight ripped. My favorite thing of, one of my favorite examples of a show becoming Ava was uh, this, like, totally mid, 
mech shit. It's just called Majin Bone. And me and my friend really only <laughs> <laughs> were watching it because it, we found it hilarious every time they were talking about their bones. <laughs> Jesus. Just like incredibly immature. Yeah. And then it's like, and now here's our introspective Ava episode. I'm like, fucking nothing is safe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wild. Man. <laughs> Do you know what my favorite part of this episode was? No. My favorite moment. Um, <clears throat> I think her name is Sophie, right? The angry one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she died. I don't know what. I yes, was real, sure. real hyped about it. <laughs> See? You got to add new characters so that you can kill them. Yeah, I'm like, if you're going to introduce annoying characters and then kill them off, like, I could be fine with that. Wish you would have, I wish they would have told me first. It's amazing that they killed her, because she's, she's was, like, significantly in the opening. Dude, I was surprised that they <laughs> killed her. I'm wondering if there's, I'm wondering if she's going to stay dead. Or if there's, like, a... There's another clone situation or something. I don't fucking know. But yeah, like, because she was pretty prominent. <laughs> yeah, we don't have actual clones yet. We only have that one guy who gets other people to wear his face. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, the fake clones, whatever. <laughs> they're not. They're not clones. Those are actual, just different people. Oh, well, that's close enough. Completely different Are you saying clones aren't different people? Damn. I didn't know you were that close-minded. They're different, but they're... They can be more similar. Mm, there you go. <laughs> yeah, her shtick was... Uh, I don't know. Her hearing the voice or whatever... Like they took it, it was it was fine figuratively, but then it got literal. That was I was like meh. It kind I feel like it didn't make enough sense, but I guess if she's connected to the gun format shit, maybe something. You're like, because they talked about like data storm stuff as well, or whatever, mm. whatever the was it data storm, or yeah, okay. Like maybe there's something with that, like you you know when you're in a if you're if two people are in that in that format and in that space or whatever you want to call it, um, you know maybe they connect in other ways or something. Yeah, I still feel like there's probably like new type shit going on that they haven't gotten into yet, but that's just because I've watched Gundam. Yeah, that's like the sidekick shit. Like, uh, yeah, what's yeah, her yeah. Name the, the shit that's in turn A that they never talk about fucking once. Which just is just like what there's like one episode where it, he's like starts using psychic powers, and you're like, wait, what is happening? How is he communicating psychically? It's like, oh, yeah, because he's a new type, obviously. Uh, don't worry shit. about don't, it. Yeah, don't explain it. Fuck, it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Just let it happen. Uh huh. I I found the I found the uh, I guess drone mech. That was a little uh huh. It was a little meh. Well, they just, instead of a gun bit, it's a gun gunned him. Yeah, I mean, watch an aerial take control of them. Like it's expected at this point, right? Like I'd be, yeah, it'd be yeah, weird yeah. if she couldn't, but like, uh huh. They already showed us a big fucking gun, and like, <laughs> I need more of that. I need, I need the big gun, man. I need that sure damn gun. I don't know. I like them shooting the sky. That was pretty good. Yeah, break in the it's season two. It's time to break the sanctity of the tournament arena. Oh, I was so, up the stakes. I was so upset. I was so I was actively angry. Like not not in an external way, but like in a, the same exact way as Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> where they uh-huh. they took it from me. And then they well they talked about like the 
uh, we also, I think we learned, maybe it was something that you were supposed to infer, but like they, they outright mentioned the whatever safety protocol thing mm -hmm. that apparently like inhibits the mechs a bit or whatever. Um, yeah, that's lame. like in the duels, they're not, they're not fighting to kill each other. Yeah, but I thought they were still so just they're... fighting and it was like, no, it's like fine. safety regulations or whatever. Yeah. Again, it like makes fucking, sense. like like it's like a like it's a sporting league. They would all that that would definitely exist. Yeah, no, it makes sense. But like, if they didn't have that, then all of the other mechs could have gone and helped, and we could have had a big fight anyway. <laughs> but yeah, no, it it it, it tracks. Mm -hmm. How many episodes until you think uh, Saleta and what's her name are back together? Your name? Um, I feel like I better fucking have it next week. I don't know, <laughs> dude. I just want that. Like that was the that was that was carrying this. Show I think next week is the time. Like this week, I didn't think it was gonna happen this week either because this week we had to have the fight, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was expecting this to be mostly a fight and that wasn't incorrect, so Yeah. The battle raged. Um Soleta's obliviousness kinda rubbed me the wrong way just a little bit. I think I think her being like Gundams aren't meant to hurt people like that's a little bit naive. Like, are you serious? <laughs> You're serious right now? <laughs> it's it is hilarious coming. She smushed a person from her, and she fucking did, the giant she the, the giant gun. I think, but I think it's appropriate given where she's coming from that she hasn't fully processed what she did. <laughs> I yeah. don't think it's out of line for her to. Her, she's such an innocent character. Like for her to have this, but like also that they're. She's like thinking about it. Clearly, she's like, wait, that. Like, you need someone to like you literally yell at her that this is what Gundams are for, or she's not gonna. And that's what put happened. it together. <laughs> and uh, I do feel like she was at least she was like saying that. But I feel like in the back of her head, she's at least putting it together. Yeah. It's just one it's, of those. But it's, it's also just like, we're in season two. Someone needs to yell about what the Gundam actually is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Gundam is for killing people. <laughs> there just needs to be a character who shows up and goes, um, it's the fucking Gundam. It's bad. <laughs> I mean, like that. Yeah, it's that, for killing and, people. And uh, like mechs and I just, like, I just love it. that when the ter that happens in turn A. That was what I'm thinking of. Oh yeah, yeah. When I mean, they haven't said Gundam the whole show, and then the one character shows up, he's like, "That's a that's the Gundam. That thing, <laughs> I need to fucking destroy it. It's yeah. fucking bad." Uh, you just need the guy to show up, and or you need a character to yell about the Gundam and war and whatever. Yeah, this man. just happened to be the way that it happened here. I mean, I like how that moment went down. For it, if we're gonna have that moment, like her being like uh, Saleta yelling like in tears, like Gund uh, did she say no? Did she say Gundam or did she say? I guess she said Gundam, right? Like Gundam wasn't Gundams. I, I forget how she phrased. I don't it. know. I don't remember. Like aren't, aren't men for killing people and the fucking. Sophie, who is dying in front of her, is like, why does it have so many weapons? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like that moment was was very good. <laughs> you have so many guns. You've what been, are you talking you've been about? Been shooting so many people and blocking <laughs> so many shots thrown at you. What did you think was happening here? <laughs> Uh-huh. They're like, the Gundam was built to, like, dry laundry and move cattle. <laughs> uh-huh. 
That's definitely why it was built and not, you know, a thing you can use it for, but not its intended function. Yeah. No, I'm it's just a lot of Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. on our what I what I'm looking most forward to at this point. Like I want the I want the shit to converge again. All of our little threads. Like I want the uh Oh, what's the name of the Earthling thing? I I completely forgot the uh, the thing that Nika is a part of and Shadik is a part of. They said they said it. Dawn of Fold. Is that what you mean? No. The Orcs Earth. No. Vanadis Institute. No. I don't know. Maybe which, they were saying like thing? Operation. Like that. Sophie and what's her? The two transfer students were part of. The girl who died, like operate and like Nika is a go between and whatever. I, I think they, that, they referred to it as something. Mm, I think that group is called Donna Fold. Okay. But, well, I want I want but that maybe like deal. what they were doing was referred to as something. I want I that know. deal and like the stuff with the the our our characters at school and then like uh the like Saleta's mom and all that. I want it all to fucking converge so we can be like more intertwined. And that's like, that's like starting to happen. Cause like now we have the, like at the end of this episode, the, I don't know, the space police show up. They're like, we have mm-hmm. Nika for questioning. Like you guys have to come in too. So we're, we're getting there. I'm, I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah. We're still building. We're not on like the, it doesn't feel like we're on main thing train yet. We're yeah. still in like setting stuff up and I just, getting the stakes established. Do we know how long this is like set to be as a show? Yeah, twenty six episodes, I think. So like twenty four. So these are it. Theoretically, this yeah, this core should be it. That's a bit disappointing. But it might that not be. I don't. I'm not a hundred percent on that. That doesn't leave a lot of time for character interaction. Nope. I want more hand holding, man. That's why I'm here. That's what the endings are for. Yeah. <laughs> man, the regardless of my of my hang-ups the fucking transition it's Saleta talking to herself and the transition into the ending was so fucking uh, good <laughs> oh yeah. man and that ending hits so hard the the vocals are so good oh that shit makes me very happy 25 total episodes Twenty-five. Total. I, I'm assuming that includes the prologue episode. Yeah, that makes sense. So it should go to episode twenty-four. So we got like ten more or whatever. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm. I'm lo- I can't believe the show also turned out to be Ava. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can believe it because fucking, of course. I mean, it's also it's like, the most common thing in anime is for a show to secretly turn out to be Ava. <laughs> it's why I feel like we have to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just so you know. That and memes. I mean, the memes, memes are also important. Yeah. I mean, here, here's the thing. I could do it. I just don't know if I'll actually have a good time. Uh huh. I don't know but either, I, but I can. If you're down to do a <laughs> shit cast, potentially. I don't think I'd be horribly negative. I think I'd just be like, yeah, that, that's what the fuss was about. Uh huh. <laughs> music is good, though. Unassailable music. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, uh what's the what's the big one? Angel something, fallen angel, Gr- something cruel angel. angel's thesis. Yeah, that's, that's the opening. Same thing. I see that pumping around like constantly, covers yep. and whatever else. Uh huh. Yeah, 
I mean, it'll. Like, I mean, it's the person who's doing the soundtracks for like Shin Godzilla and Shin Ultraman. So, yeah, still working with Anno. Someday. Just like some battle, like the main battle theme is like literally in Shin Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> It's like slightly different, but it's like basically the same song. Just hilarious because like a big part of that song is ripped out of a song from a James Bond movie. Incredible. <laughs> it all comes fucking back. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I mean that's like Yeah. Someday. I think it's one of those things like largely it's just that the 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 premise kind of has not a lot for me. Like even when I attempted watching it back in the day, I didn't really attempt watching it because I was like, "Oh man, this looks crazy." It was just everybody said it was that good. So it's not like there wasn't really a, an in very much. Mhm. Like, you're not into eldritch beings coming down to try and destroy the Earth? People fight them in giant robots? That's like the basic OG uh, upfront premise. I never got the upfront premise. Nobody ever told me what it was about. That's what it is. (laughs) It's the angels are coming, but like, you know, that old idea of just angels as fucked up monsters coming to destroy the earth Mm. and they have to stop them. And the only way is teenagers piloting giant robots that are fucked up. Yeah. I mean, the only other thing I know about the series is like, I guess I don't know if that's memes or not. Everybody wants to fuck that little kid or whatever. What? Probably memes. <laughs> Something about Shinji. I don't know. Shinji, right? That's the main character, yes. It's the main character? I thought the... Shinji is the main character. I thought the 14-year-old redhead in the plug suit was the main character. No. Huh. She's not the main character. She doesn't even show up for a bunch of episodes. There's a certain yeah, subset of people that, that love fucking, her. Wow, yeah, go fucking but figure. She's not the main character. Yeah. Shinji is the main character. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Eventually. Yeah. there's the, the, the biggest problem is that there's just so much fucking shit to watch <laughs> and read. Yep. Eventually, I'll see enough shit that's inspired by Ava that I'll just put the pieces together. It's fine. It's not the no, same. No, that's it's exactly the same. One to one experience. And then I'll listen to cruel, an, cruel angels, cruel feet, thesis. cruel thesis on, you know, cruel like, angels Beavis. I'll listen to I'll listen to to fools angle trees. On a children's xylophone, you need to, and you need to listen the to thing. the. You need to watch it so that then you can watch the mashups with <laughs> songs from that show and Tenacious D songs, <laughs> complete with ed- heavily edited videos. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> First into the, I think they do like three of those. Dude, some of the some, some of the, there's just some edits that go incredibly hard. Have you seen the the fucking weed la weed opening? Like someone remade kill the kill opening, but it's all Snoop Dogg. <laughs> like they fully redrew that shit. Uh huh. Just incredible. <laughs> what a world we live in. Yeah, I saw one that was the the Utena opening, but redrawn with Lupin characters. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one was pretty good. Damn, man. Anyway, I think that's a podcast. Soul yeah. Circle Podcast, gmail.com, Soul Circle Pod on Twitter. I'm on Twitter at Comic Panels. 
I'm not. But I Ben exists in the quiet storm or whatever. <laughs> yeah, sure. Close enough. Venice. Um yeah. I keep wanting to say quiet storm, but that's from fucking a different anime. <laughs> that's nice. from Yuri Kumarashi. Mm. I I'm excited to, uh, for what happens next. Even for my little grumpy hangups, like I'm I'm still very like invested in in what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. The show's good. The action shows, is good. Oh, like, shows, the animation is just good. incredibly animation <laughs> solid. She fucking smashes that um one guy's head with that gun barrel. Yeah. And also like that was good. Delivery is good. Yeah. Like, Saleta dealing with her shit is, like, I mean, it's horrifying, but, like, it's delivered very well. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Peace. Peace.